What is the Recur Pass? In short, the Recur Pass holders will have early beta access to some of the most coveted Recur experiences. As of right now, these coveted Recur experiences include Hello Kitty, Rugrats, Real Monsters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Godfather, Star Trek, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Mean Girls, and NFTU. Here are the schools already partnered with NFTU. There are more to come. In this video, we will discuss other possible projects coming to the Recur platform, how each pass differs from all others, and where to buy a pass if you miss the 24-hour window to purchase the pass and become a Recur Pass OG. What is the Recur Pass? The Recur Pass was sold for only 24 hours beginning on December 9, 2021 and never to be sold again. Pass holders will have early beta access to some of the most coveted Recur experiences. Buy one or as many as you want. Each one will be completely unique with its own one-to-one -one generative art and special properties. What does the Recur IP Pass give us access to? What are your planned projects? Pass holders will be granted early beta access to NFT experiences featuring awesome characters, top films, and sports. They've partnered with the most iconic IP in the world. They're the biggest names in film, TV, sports, and pop culture. They include Viacom CBS, think Nickelodeon, Paramount Pictures, etc., Sanrio's Hello Kitty, and College Sports. And there's more coming. What is the supply for the Recur Pass? The pass was sold for only a 24-hour time period and then never again. Based on the quantity of passes purchased during the sale, an additional 10% was added to the total supply held in Recur's treasury and allocated for community initiatives and ecosystem development. Since 64,031 passes were sold, Recur printed an additional 6,403 passes to be held in their treasury. How and when can I buy it? Since the original 24-hour period is over to purchase the Recur Pass directly from Recur, the marketplace is the best shot at getting a Recur Pass if you missed the drop. Okay, let's take a look at the four Recur Passes I purchased. I have pass numbers 21007, 6839, 22170, 55864. It's still not very clear what decides the rarity of each pass at this moment in time. But if we take a look at some passes for sale in the marketplace, you will see the following characteristics you can filter by. Color set. Most occurring color. Digit sum. Longest number sequence, along with specific tags. Here, I will filter by longest sequence. As you can see, the cheapest pass is $400 right now. But if we only change the longest sequence from 1 to 3, we now see the cheapest pass is $999, meaning the longer the sequence, the rarer or more valuable. If we also change the digit sum from 10 to 9 and the longest sequence from 3 to 4, we see the cheapest pass is now $4,458. So the lower the digit sum and the bigger the longest number sequence, the rarer the pass. We have already discussed what IPs are already in the works with Recur, but let's say Recur only signs with Viacom CBS as a worst case scenario. So let's take a look at what else is in the Viacom CBS family CBS Sports, Country Music TV, Comedy Central, MTV, Nickelodeon, The Paramount Network, Showtime, The CW, VH1 and so much more. How does Recur compare to VV? Well, as of right now, VV has a big lead in this space. VV is backed by the coin eKami, ticker symbol OMI. VV has an app in the Google Play and Apple's App Store. The VV NFTs I like the most are their Marvel comic collection. I have not been able to get any NFTs lately on the VV platform, and they literally sell out of everything in seconds. This brings me to one area I foresee Recur beating VV. Just stay with me and I will share this very soon. VV is already working with names like Marvel, DC, Ghostbusters, The Powerpuff Girls, Adventure Time, Star Trek, and more. 
Now, what area do I see Recur beating Vivi? This would be their pass itself. As I noted earlier, I cannot buy any NFT during Vivi's NFT drops anymore, and I have to purchase anything I want on the marketplace at an inflated price. This sucks because I own a lot of OMI tokens. I started buying them over a year ago. I have been on Vivi's platform almost since day one, but I cannot participate in the fun anymore. If Vivi had a pass that gave me early access to NFT drops, I would not think twice about purchasing it. Vivi is in the process of correcting this issue. Well, as you have learned in this video, Recur has a long way to go. They only launched last month, and so far, they have only signed with Viacom CBS. So, the future could be bright for Recur. As I learn more about the Recur Pass and the Recur platform, I will share my findings with you. So, please make sure to like this video and subscribe for future updates. Take care, my friends! If you're still here, thanks for making it this far in the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the links below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell as it will help out this channel a lot. Check out one or both of the videos listed here on this page. And as always, learn more, hustle on, and power through. Thank you and see you all in just a few minutes.